This is one of my favorite things to visit in Florence. This is a um, portrait bust made by Verrocchio. And it, like Leonardo Gennetti da Vinci, is full of firsts. It is the first portrait bust done below the shoulders. In a moment, we'll show you some of the other ones around here that all stop right about here. Verrocchio, however, uh, includes his philosophical want to be able to convey emotion, um, emotion through the motion of uh, his subject's uh, body and clothes uh, to try to convey what this person is thinking. So this is the first Italian portrait bust that's below the so shoulders that can show movement and it looks as if she is gathering up flowers at this point and holding them to her as if we, the viewer, have interrupted her while she's gathering flowers. And she looks at us with some surprise and directly at us. Now, I think, and many other uh, scholars think, of course, I don't define myself as a scholar, merely a reporter, but after gathering all the different scholarship and thought, this seems very much to me Ginevra da Vinci. It was made about the same time period. Um, these flowers here um, are primroses or dog roses that were involved in the um, coat of arms and emblem that Bernardo Bembo used. So the speculation is that this would have been done about the same time as Ginevra da Vinci's portrait by Leonardo da Vinci, about the same time that he was still in Verrocchio's studio, and that this could indeed also be um, Ginevra. Um, I take those facts and then interpret them to create the bit of competition between Verrocchio and Leonardo over which is better painting or sculpture. That's my imaginations of what we know as fact. But uh, you take your own opinion here and see if you think that this could be Ginevra da Vinci. It is a beautiful piece of sculpture no matter what. And if you come all the way around behind, you see that the detail is on her back as well. The dress that she has, ah, and there are the Duomo bells. The hair is very similar. The face seems very similar. Some scholars think that it might be Lucrezia Donati, um, who was the platonic love interest muse of Lorenzo de' Medici but I think it might be Ginevra. Even down to this uh, fine underdress and the chemise and the button that's there, it's very similar to what Ginevra has on in her house.